So in this example, we have a quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, and D. And side AB is parallel to side uh, CD. And the sides AD and BC are not parallel. We want to know what's the area of the figure to the nearest square centimeter. So this is just one of those geometry problems. And the thing to, to recognize in this case is we have two sides that are parallel. Again, AB and CD. And then we have two sides that are not parallel. So in this case, that tells me that we have a trapezoid. And this will be given to you on your formula sheet. And the area of a trapezoid, we take one half of the height, and then we multiply that by the quantity. We take base one plus base two. So you can kind of think about this, you know, I'm, I'm going to sort of flip my, my trapezoid around. The bases refer to the sides that are parallel, okay? So, so the bottom base, now that I've got it twisted around, if you want to think about the bottom base, that has a length of 6. The other base, again, that's the other side that it's, that, that, that are, that's parallel. So that's going to have a length of 2. The height, again, that's given to us as 2.5. So now it's just a matter of multiplying this expression out. So again, you can use your calculator. 1 half, that's the same thing as 0 0.5. Again, you could put that into a calculator. So 1 divided by 2, you would get 0 0.5. 6 plus 2 is going to be 8. So I'm just simplifying the, the 6 and the 2. And now I'm going to use my calculator to multiply this out. So you can put it in parentheses if you want. You don't have to, but I already have it in parentheses. So 0 0.5 multiplied by 2.5 multiplied by 8. I'm getting this to be equal to 10. So the value in this case, and they said uh, to the nearest square centimeter, well, we're getting it to be exactly 10 uh, centimeters squared.